Hi everybody, so welcome to another installment of me pointing a camera towards my computer. On this installment, I decided to replace a memory I had with new ones, which happens to be the G-Skills RIP JAWS 3600 CL16 32GB memory kit. I will be replacing my current Team Group T-Force Dark Z 3200 CL16 32GB memory kit. That took me 10 tries to say it properly. The main reason why I decided to replace a memory is because they are single rank. When I bought them, I assumed they would be dual rank because they are a 32GB kit. Unfortunately, I was wrong. So by changing the memory on the computer, I'm hoping to gain a little bit of performance on some of the games that I'm playing, especially Cyberpunk and Flight Simulator, which are very, very memory and CPU intensive. Honestly, I'm not expecting too much, but unfortunately for me, curiosity beat out common sense. So here we are. The first benchmark I did was with Cyberpunk 2077. For this benchmark, all I did was walk from point A to point B as you see in this video. Because there wasn't much of an FPS different in each run, I ended up only doing 4 instead of the 10 I had planned to. Now before showing you this benchmarks, I'd like to point out that the system I used to run this had an i3-10100 CPU, a Gigabyte Z490 Aorus Pro AX motherboard, and a Galax RTX 3080 SG video card. For anyone wondering why I used an i3 for my build, it was mainly because I wanted to use it as a filler until Rocket Lake launched. So here are the benchmarks, and honestly I was absolutely blown away by the difference that I saw. The new G-Skill dual rank memory provided 12 additional frames to the average, as well as providing 11 additional frames to the 1% low. To make sure that the difference wasn't mainly due to frequency, I tested the G-Scale memory by lowering its frequency and cache latencies to match the team group. And even then, as you could see in the graphs, the difference was quite substantial. For Flight Simulator, I made a simple pass that flew over Manhattan, close to Central Park. I picked the same time of day and weather for each run. Unlike Cyberpunk, I had to do 6 or 7 runs per test. Mainly because, well, flying is pretty hard. As you can see on the screen, the difference wasn't as spectacular as what we saw in Cyberpunk. Compared to my old teen group single rank memory, the new G-Skills dual rank memory only provided 4 additional frames for the average, while remaining nearly identical in the 1% lows. Mind you, this isn't actually bad per se. It's actually pretty good. I guess I was just kind of disappointed after seeing how well it performed in Cyberpunk. The G-Scale memory set to match the team group provided two more frames on average. Although I only did two benchmarks, it seems pretty clear that dual rank is the way to go. Not only does it provide some performance uplift, it actually doesn't cost you any more than regular single rank memory. The problem you might have with dual rank memory though is actually finding one. It seems that as memory chip density gets higher, more and more 32 gigabyte memory kits are coming with single rank RAM. So it looks like you'll need to do your due diligence to find the right memory kit. Another option you have is to get four single rank memory sticks. Just make sure that your motherboard is able to handle this. Aside from all that, I had a lot of fun making this video. This is the first time I ever tried benchmarking and I actually found it quite enjoyable. Can't say the same for voiceovers though. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video.